Actually, it's that on the map. You got your mind? Babe, hey, we're lost. Shuttles are for if old we people. If we could get on the shuttle, then no. we, would, we would save so much time. No, we shuttles. Just get on the free shuttle. Shuttles are for old people and they and take weak. you to the, the amphitheater. Weak. We're heading south from the park entrance. So now look at that map. Why you? You're my That's, navigator. Because there's there's signs all over the place Unreal. that tell you where you are. Unreal. These leggings. Don't they make my tummy hurt? Do they? Like suck you in, my tummy's. They like, look Whoa. a little on your waist, so a little tight. Makes me look fat. No, oh my gosh, don't even start. Whenever you pull them under your clothes, Ben, like the waist is like that small. Yeah, but they're stretched. I was like, man, if I was wearing those all day long, there'd be problems. No, you were thinking hey, I'm way too fat for those. <laughs> Dear. Where? Hey, buddy. Hey. hey what do you? Don't get them close to the. Hey, there's the shuttle. We we could still make it. What are you doing? Oh my child, I know you heard and you can. Hey guys, we are in Zion National Park. We went um, back to Bryce earlier today, but um, there was like no parking anywhere, and we were feeling really tired and just like sluggish so we were like let's just move on to Zion it's about a two hour drive from it's a two hour drive from like Bryce Canyon we just decided to hit the road and we made it and as you guys saw it was it's just beautiful here like show this view right here huh? like this is sick oh my I'm gosh never, I keep saying that this entire trip I've never seen anything like it it's like everywhere we go I've literally never seen anything like this yeah this is insane and we've been going down these hairpins for like the last 15 minutes or so. Um, this is our taking it up there. Too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're almost to the bottom and then we're trying to make it to a little town called Springdale. Isn't that what it's called? Yep. Springdale. And that's where we're gonna stay the night tonight. And I think we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night, but this was like a really nice scenic drive to just drive down. Um, because the way we came from, we had to go through the park to get there. So, yeah, I think tomorrow we're going to pick back up wherever we left off. But yeah, I figured I would just update you guys. And it's really taken a toll on our bodies, like all this travel and stuff like that. Um, so we're just going to relax and take some time for ourselves and like chill. And then we'll be back at it probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm not really sure, but we'll keep you guys updated. Jake just ran over our uh. tripod. All right, good morning, you guys. <laughs> it's gotta say, like, the most robotic, boring way ever. Hello, welcome, welcome back. back. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a good mood right now because we stayed at a hotel for three nights and got some alone time away from each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Anyways, we actually took a little break. It was like a three day break. We stayed at a hotel for a week. What? Did we stay for three nights? We did. We stayed at a hotel here in Utah, Washington, Utah, but it's we're super close to St. George. So if you know where that's at, it's a bigger it's city by, around here. It's by Dixie University. But we stayed in a hotel here for three nights, four days, and it was glorious. It was amazing. Definitely worth it. Definitely recommend if you're doing van life, just like take a couple days, take a break from one another. And that sounds really bad. We're not sick of each other, but we just like, you know, you never get really like your alone it's time like when you're living the in the stressors van. of van life. And then you put that on top of like bumping into each other every second, like anywhere you're at in the van, it's like you need something, but you can't move there because the other person's in the way. So you got to ask them like, hey, can you grab this for me? And it's just like, you hear that from your significant other so much. Like, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you? And you're like, yeah, are you just like bumping into another? And like, you're always talking to <laughs> each on, other. Man. And it's like before when we had a house, it was like we had a lot of alone time. And I think that every relationship needs that. So um, we're not sick of each other. We just like yeah. needed some space for a little while. So yeah, hotel was super nice. I didn't vlog at all while we were there just because I wanted like a complete detox, complete break of everything and just like recoup and relax. And it was definitely worth it. We had a lot of fun and um, now we're getting back on the road. Um, as you guys saw, we didn't really stop in Zion. We just kind of like drove through it 
and honestly it was pretty cold when we went through so we didn't really want to get out and hike um, we didn't really bring the gear for that so anyways we decided not to stay in Zion we just drove through it and it was beautiful we got some footage um, and then we came here and our original plan was to go to Grand Canyon National Park but that is like four hours out of the way of where we're going. Unless so you've seen one canyon, you've seen one. Well, I mean, it's cool, but we definitely want to fly back another time and like see it and like plan to see it because it's, we're just trying to save time on this road trip, especially that it's getting colder now and it's starting to snow in places. Saw, we don't want to hit a lot of bad weather. It was already snowing in Yellowstone. Yeah, it's snowing yeah. In, in the places that we want to go. And um, I know it's only October, so hopefully it won't be snowing by the time we get there. But we just want to save time and get to places that like, are most important to us. So we want to get on the road and we don't want to go four hours out of the way just to drive four hours back to where we're going. Because Anyways, yeah, we're heading to California after this pretty much. We're hitting Valley of Fire in Las Vegas. We basically just wanted to get the show on the road and so we're skipping Grand Canyon, unfortunately. But we will be back to see it one day. It's not like it's going anywhere, so. Mess I got going on. And then so. you got like this long flannel you wear every day and like these cargo pants. You bought Literally, you wear that <laughs> every day. We need to get you a new outfit. Because all your clothes back there, I don't know where my clothes are at. Like there's four bins. There's four bins, people. And there's one bin and half of that bin has my clothes in it, so. It's not my fault you didn't pack any things. <sighs> all right, we're gonna go also, get coffee. Also, this Buffalo brand, it's a branch off of Gucci. And this hat's super comfy, so I highly recommend you guys. Super it's nice. It's not a brand off Gucci. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go find- Eight dollars <laughs> and a flying Stop. J. Eight dollars and a flying J. We're gonna go get coffee, um, cause we need some this morning. And then we're gonna head on the road to Valley of Fire and it's only like an hour and a half away. So we should be there shortly and we'll take you guys with us. Yeah. Alright guys, we got our coffee. We went to Perks here in Utah and it's like, I think it's a popular place here because they have great coffee. Mm -hmm. We had it um, a couple days ago, but today I got, it's called Pure Bliss and I got oat milk with it and I asked for it to be like a little less sweet because their specialty coffee is like can be really sweet, they said. Um, what'd you get, babe? I got the White Knight. They called, it's just a white mocha really, but mm -hmm. um, almond milk, hot. Not iced. I never get iced. I don't care if it's 90 degrees out, I'm not getting iced coffee. It's just not happening. No. So we just got to the petroglyphs up here. I've always wanted to see these in person. I've never seen real ones in person. It's pretty awesome. The sign says that they don't know what they mean, but this art reflects the thoughts of these people. Super cool. All right, guys, we are done at the Valley of Fire and we are currently in Las Vegas. We drove here. Um, about an hour ago and we've just been like wandering around. We were gonna go to the grocery store and get some food, but what? we found an Applebee's. <laughs> and honestly, before you guys make fun of us, we've been Apple sleeping on Applebee's. Yeah. Applebee's has good food, really, it's affordable, uh, and their margs are freaking amazing. They've really turned new leaf, you know? <laughs> we needed this. Yeah. We needed this. I got mashed potatoes, green beans, and salmon, and a mark, of course. <laughs> Yes, it's $3.08. Mm -hmm. 
No, Las Vegas. Vegas. I feel like I don't know. I don't know if I could live here. It's it's just like a big, huge city. A very cool city, but it's out in the middle of nowhere. I told you that thing's strong. I like strong coffee. I don't know, dude. I'm not really a fan. Touch rose? Mm. I like this one. <laughs> today and we were asking like the park rangers um if the campground was full and they said that it was which is typical you get on like recreation.gov where you like book your spot and it is just like booked for the next like two three months so we knew that we weren't gonna have like a lot of luck but we just figured we'd try anyways we were asking like places we could sleep like walmart and stuff nearby and they were like hang on we might have a spot for you and then they had a spot open so we secured a spot in Joshua Tree National Park and it is so cool. You should get out and show them. I will. I'm just getting some food ready for tonight. We're having mac and cheese and hot dogs. Super healthy, I know. Um, but I will show you guys the campsite. The sun's really going down, so it's kind of dark. But this is how cool it is. Can go climb on these rocks up here and then jake's got a fire started look how cool this is dude the moon is out and they say that stargazing is like great to do out here so jake's gonna try and get some cool pictures tonight some astrophotography and we're gonna cook child I know you hurt and you can't let go it's not your fault and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt <laughs> it is not easy cooking it's in the middle of nowhere <laughs> good morning you guys it is like 7 a.m. here. We're kind of dealing with the time change right now, so it's a little weird. Put the eggs out here last night. We just need to do some cleaning up and yeah, just getting organized, get the van ready to go. And we are gonna go check out of our spot. And then we are gonna start on the rest of our adventures today and probably do some hiking through the park. And um, we need to make coffee first though. So we're gonna make coffee, go check out, and then we're gonna do some hiking. I know you've done your part, it's not fair. You did your time. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up. 